Do you also want to customize your iPhone like this? Then let me tell you how you can do that. So in the new iOS 18, we got lots of new customization features for your home screen. Such as you can now move your app icons anywhere in the home screen. And not just that, you can customize the app icons to make it either dark or light. And not just that, you can also turn the dark mode on of your wallpaper. You can also change the app size of your icons and make it large. But keep in mind that the name of the apps will be gone. So that way if you want to hide the name of the apps, you can do that as well. And apart from this, you can also turn the app icons to any tinted color that you want. And you can also choose color directly from the wallpaper. With that, you can also adjust the saturation of your app icons as well. So now that we have mentioned that how you can customize your home screen in iOS 18. So now let's talk about how you can customize it creatively and effectively so that your home screen looks like just the way you want. So I'll be showing different kind of home screen setups for different kind of users as every user's preference is different. And you'll also get to know how I personally customize my home screen according to my liking at the end. So without wasting any time, let's start the video. So now let's talk about the first home screen setup where you put the widgets on site in the diagonal direction and similarly the apps will be put in the diagonal direction as well. So as you can see I put the widgets in the diagonal direction and similarly a quartet of four apps are in the diagonal direction as well. Now you can also choose any of the wallpaper that you like but for this video I'm just gonna choose a black wallpaper as it looks minimal and aesthetic but you can change it to whatever you like. Now the wallpaper is set to black we can also change the app icons to the dark mode or if you want the app icons to stay in the light mode you can also keep that but my preference is dark mode so let's do that and as we can see how aesthetic and cool and modern it looks now all right on the second number we have the split view home screen setup where we'll first add a split wallpaper and on the one side of the home screen there will be just apps and on the other side of the home screen there will be a design of the wallpaper so to do that first search split wallpaper on the web I like this one so let's pick this and then just add your wallpaper so just tap on add here so now that we have added our split wallpaper now let's organize the app icons and widgets so now our split view home screen setup is ready and with the contrast of black and white this home screen also looks pretty fantastic now i like to keep this side empty but you can also add widgets if you want and let's see if we add widgets how will that look so this is when we have added the widgets so if you're a fan of widgets and like to keep widgets on the home screen then this split view home screen setup can also be a good option for you now talking about widgets here comes our third home screen setup and in this setup we're going to use the most used widgets on the top and the most used apps will be at the bottom so let's first keep all of the most used widgets at the top so now our most used widgets are at the top and most used apps are at the bottom now you can also change the layout where you keep the apps at the top and keep the, all of the widgets at the bottom depending on your choice and for the widget section you can keep this layout or you can add the four widget layout here is our four most used widget section and at the bottom most used apps and this home screen setup looks pretty organized now you can also change the wallpaper depending on your liking now you can also keep the app icons either in the dark mode or the light mode depending on your preferences and apart from this you can also use the widget wallpapers as well and for the widgets wallpaper i'm using the widget widgets and that way you can also add third party widgets right at your home screen and now similarly you can try out keeping all of your apps in the middle section of the home screen now i'm not a big fan of it but you can still try it out and let's say you have a cool wallpaper with an amazing subject then you can keep all of your app icons around the subject now i'm not a fan of it either but some people still do like it and you can try it out if it suits you all right now we have covered most types of customization but at last we have the goat level customization which i personally do but first let me give you the basic ones because if you see my home screen right now i'm sure you'll think that i'm crazy so first let's keep the wallpaper black now make sure that the app icons are in the dark mode now go again to the customize section and here select on the tinted option and tint the icons to any colors you like my personal favorite is yellow if you want you can also select orange color here and the saturation is a little bit high so just drop down the saturation a little bit and tap on large here so that icons are large and their names are hidden so that's how i keep my home screen whenever i feel normal but this was the basic one only now let's take you to the advanced home screen customization which will definitely blow your mind so first go to the customize section here and here select the tinted section and just tap on the eyedropper tool and select the black color and as you can see all of our icons have turned gray 
Now for me, this dark color is pretty apt. Now if you still feel that the icons are too dark and desaturated, so you can just drop the saturation from here. And now your icons will come to life, but they'll still be in the gray tone. But if your life is dark, just like me, then you can also turn this dark. Depending on how dark is your life in reality. Now here's the crazy part, but this is optional. Just remove all of the apps. Yes, that's right. Now once the app icons are removed from the home screen and just these icons are here and you can also remove them if you want. I have removed it for now, but before that I had not removed it because these are essential. So, so sometimes I need them immediately. But having said that in my home screen, my most used widgets are present. That way I don't open the apps much. And if I have to open the apps, I just have to go to the app library here. And if I just swipe down, then I have spotlight search where I can search any of them and directly access it. And that way my screen time has drastically reduced. So if you're those people whose screen time is very much, this home screen customization can help you to some extent. Now apart from this, you can also customize your lock screen with the same color as well. And you can also delete these icons if you want for the most ultimate minimal look ever for your iPhone in iOS 18. So that's the way I customize my home screen in iOS 18. And I'm 100% sure that this is the most minimal, aesthetic, dark and moody colored home screen setup in the history of iPhones. So that was it. These were the few ways by which you can customize your home screen creatively with the help of iOS 18. So now you guys let me know in the comment section that which one is your favorite customization of the home screen. And if you have any suggestion related to the customization of home screen that I've missed. So let me also know about that in the comment section. And if you've reached there, definitely like this video, share it with your friends and family, whoever loves customization. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to iGeek blog for more such iPhone related content. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next video. Till then, keep enjoying your life.